What's up, y'all? You already know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to find a uh, good remote wire or ignition source to turn on your amps. So, what are we looking for exactly? Well, if you're running a amplifier and you don't have a aftermarket radio that has a remote turn on output like maybe you're hooking it up to the factory radio or something like that then we have to find a way to actually turn the uh amplifier on and uh the easiest way is to find some type of ignition circuit inside the car so first thing that i will usually do is try your uh, cigarette lighter uh that's a little dirty but we're gonna try it anyway so what we want to do is we want to make sure that when the car is off we're gonna get zero volts when the car is on we're gonna get 12 volts this is my this goes to like my little power probe but you can get any type of cigarette lighter that has like a little light on it or get any type of cigarette lighter that's going to have your uh usb on there and then you can plug your phone up if you plug it in and the car is off and it doesn't charge then it's at zero volts when you turn the car on it's at and it does charge and it's at 12 volts so what we're going to do is we're going to test this cigarette lighter to see if this cigarette lighter is an ignition circuit or a constant circuit so we push in the cigarette lighter and uh mine has like a little red light indicator on it and it does not it is not came on so that means it's not reading any type of voltage it's at zero volts so if i turn my car on boom we get a red light i turn it off we get zero i turn it on we get red so that's letting me know that if i still have my factory radio in here or i just needed another uh source for ignition then i can use my cigarette lighter plug uh, i also have one in there as well uh let's check just to make sure this one might be ignition too plug it in you get no light turn the car on and we get a light turn it off we get no light okay so in my car both of my cigarette lighter plugs are on ignition circuits so we can tap into these wires if we wanted to by doing like a little military splice or whatever the case is just kind of tap into the wire i wouldn't cut it per se but you guys can do whatever you want um but i'm going to show you some options of what you can do what i want to do is take my probes right here and i want to put them on the little leads that's inside this harness so right there my what it looks like white is going to choose to be ground red is what i'm choosing to be 12 volts now that the car is off you see it actually going down the meter is going down it's not showing any voltage i'm talking about 5.5 millivolts now let me cut the car on all right so now that i've cut the car on it's reading 12.4 volts dc and uh that's what we want to look at now if this multimeter had a negative sign in front of it then that will tell me that my red and black uh probes are switched which means it's out of it's not in the right polarity as far as positive and negative but that is a positive 12.38 so my positive wire which is 12 volts is going to be the red and my ground or my negative is going to be the white so if i wanted to tap off of this for my remote as far as like going to my amplifier i would tap onto the red wire but i would do it a little bit different than this so let me show you how i would do it and what i would use all right so what they basically did here was uh strip the wire back and uh just wrap the wire to wire straight to that there's nothing wrong with it uh, if anything i would clean it up probably uh solder that connection but if i was going to run this to my amplifier i would use this this is just an inline fuse holder it's something cheap but it's very effective and uh the reason i would use this is because this will actually fuse the wire that's going towards my amplifier so let's just say that this cigarette lighter plug is like a 10 amp fuse as far as what it goes to your fuse box right if we have neon lights hooked up in the cigarette lighter we're charging multiple phones and stuff like that if we need to turn on an amplifier too then that might be too much than what that circuit can handle so it'll pop that fuse so what we can do is we can actually 
put this side on that wire solder it and then i will put me a fuse inside here so if there's anything drawing too much current from my amp or whatever the case is it'll pop this fuse instead of turning uh popping the fuse that's on that circuit and uh if you can't find these i'm gonna try to find these and put the link in the description as well but uh if you can't find that you can always make one and uh what i basically did is i grabbed me a fuse 7.5 amp fuse took some uh butt connectors these little terminal connectors and i just uh shoot i just did that and then how you would do this is you just grab your wire crimp it this right here goes to the ignition circuit and then the other side goes to your amplifier and i know you're looking at it like man that thing look rigged up but at least it will be protected sometimes when you're installing you got to go with what you know and use what you got uh if you can't uh buy these me maybe in a time crunch to where you don't have enough time to go and find one or whatever the case is but you got this stuff lying around you can make it happen and uh it's just as safe uh it's just a little rigged up but it will work so now i guess what you're thinking is what if uh my cigarette lighter is constant which means that it's going to show 12 volts whether the car is off or the car is on then what we need to do well for one you can't use it if this shows 12 volts 24 7 then you can't use it because that's going directly to the battery and you will drain your battery trying to hook up your amp so we need to run to our fuse box whether it's under the hood or inside the uh inside the inside the car and we need to find an ignition source over there so let's go do that all right y'all so first thing we want to do is actually um find the fuse panel inside the car this one comes with the little cover that has a gauge of what fuse is going to be in which spot and what does it go to which is a good guide i know for a fact that my cigarette lighter is ignition so if i didn't want to tap on it straight to the wire i can find my 20 amp fuse where it says sig or the power outlet which is a 20 amp fuse test it make sure it is an ignition circuit and i can go ahead and uh use a fuse tap to run off of there so for recording purposes i'm not going to actually use my meter you guys can use your meter uh i i suggest that you do do it because uh it's a good tool to use it's just going to be hard for me to put the black on ground and test them with the red while i'm trying to record so i'm actually going to use my power probe the good thing i like about this power probe is that uh, it comes with like 17 feet for, uh, of wire so you can use this on cars trucks and all that type of stuff and it comes with extensions but you just take the clamps that come on the other side put those two on the battery once you put those on the battery this thing will light up give you a little bit of sound and one thing i like about it is that i can take this and put it to a ground and it's going to show ground and give that little negative uh it's going to light that up also has two leds on the top right here so i can see it just kinda, and just in case i didn't have a light but if i go up here and i start testing it'll let me know okay that's ground that's ground that's ground or cold okay all these are off trying to get to one there we go so something that has power it'll show you 12.5 and then the uh the red uh will start lighting up here on the positive side and uh you can press this to turn the volume off if you want and it will have the digital display showing you where they're uh showing you the voltage reading uh but one thing i do like about this is if i'm testing something i can press up and i can feed 12 volts to something since i'm hooked up to the battery or i can press down and i can shoot a negative to something so if i'm trying to test for like door triggers or something like that and i think i'm on the right one and it's a negative trigger i can shoot a ground to it see if it locks if it's positive trigger i can shoot 12 volts to it see if it unlocks but this will be down there in the links and uh matter of fact that cigarette lighter plug that i was using earlier it was the attachment that went to this but either way let's go ahead and let's try to find an ignition source here so right here i know my cigarette lighter uh is a ignition is an ignition but uh so i know i can go to it but let's just say we're looking for something else that's going to give us ignition i usually like to look for things that's going to be at least 10 amps so right here it says ign ign stands for ignition and it's a 10 amp fuse so let's go test that one real quick it should be between a 7.5 and a 15 
All right, so here's a 10 level 27115. Negative. Negative. All right, so now I'm going to cut the car rod and see if that same one goes to a positive. All right, so now the car is on, and we're going to test the same 10 amp. Turn the car off. Test the same 10. All right, so that is going to be an ignition that I can use. Since we're tapping off the fuse block, I would, I mean the fuse box, I would definitely want to fuse this as well. And uh, we've got a couple of different fuse taps that you can use. You can use this little gold tap. Um, you'll probably find these in any hardware store. Basically what you'll do is we'll pull the fuse out. Go right here, pull out our fuse. So you'll pull the fuse out <clears throat> and this little long edge part will kind of line up with the fuse and then you'll take both of those and then stick both of them up and back in the uh, in the fuse spot. And then once you got that, you can use one of these little uh, spade connectors that I use right here and then you'll plug in on that gold side and then once you do that you can just run your wire from that uh, terminal straight to the back. Of course you will want to fuse it but uh, that's just more work that you'll have to do if you got this gold piece. Now what these are, these are fuse taps and I love using these things. They come in different uh, sizes and uh, different forms. So you have your regular ATC fuse, you got your, um, your ATM, your ATM low profile. And since my fuse looks like that, that's the one that I'm going to be using. You put a 10 amp, that the one that came out of the fuse box you want to put it in here and then the one that you're trying to protect you'll put that fuse in there and then you just hook your wire up to that and then you'll plug this whole thing inside here like this all right so this is what i'm talking about right here and this is why i really like these so the 10 amp that actually came out of that slot we want to put it right back up front because that's the one that came out of that slot so it needs to stay 10 amps now this fuse is the one that's attached to this wire right here and that's the fuse that that's what we want to protect we want to protect our remote turn on for our amplifier so you put the fuse that came out of the fuse box at the top you put your fuse in here and then you hook up your remote wire to this and run it straight to the back to your amplifier. Sorry that the video is actually getting kind of long, but I want to make it detailed as possible because it's like the number one question that I get all the time. Uh, do all these radio removals and amp hookups and we don't know how to get the remote wire to it. So uh, this is for y'all. All right guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this car up and all that type of stuff. Um, but I hope I've actually given you guys some type of value uh, if you do find any value in this video, then please hit that like button. Don't forget to share, so share, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will do my best to answer all of your questions so you guys can do this uh, yourself. Until next time, this is your boy JP signing out. Uh, don't forget, all the links will be in the description for all the stuff that I'm actually using now. And all the cars are in the corner for all your different how-to playlists. So, uh, yeah, click on that stuff. And I will catch you guys in a bit. See you at the next car.